Okay, anyway, let's go with Ingrid. Ingrid is here. Ingrid. I'm here. I'm here, but I would like to represent Sergei. Sir Sergei, he's president of our Russian diplomatic club. That's why I asked him. Ah, his okay, story. sorry. I was a little okay. bit confused. So instead of okay. you, we'll speak uh, Sergei. Yeah, because I'm a press secretary of his diplomatic club. We will cooperate with Miss Aria and okay. I would like to thank my friends. Okay. I'm really sorry for that. I was mis But can you tell him to switch on his microphone, please, because we cannot hear. Okay, I think it's on now. Sergei? Sergei? No, it's not. We we'll wait a yeah, minute. Wait. Sorry, okay, maybe you can continue. Sorry, uh, he's not he's back. I think he's back now. Can you, Nia? Can you switch on his microphone? Uh, no, I don't have the capacity to do that. I think Let the person who started the meeting. Please be. I think it's it is on, but. No, I don't think he switched. Oh, you have some problem with his microphone because we cannot yeah. hear him. I will I will call to him and ask him. Okay, I will go. Yes, please, because we cannot hear him. Please. Let's see if there was someone else on the list that maybe joined at the last minute. We have a Kamel, unfortunately, was not able to participate because his connection from Tunisia was not so good. Yeah. And then there is, uh, Fatima is here. There's the last one registered was Fatima or uh, Delicia. Because some people have a problem with the uh, missing communication of time, so some people have issue with the uh, time organization. Sorry for that. Unfortunately, when you play with different jet lag and different time zone, you know, can happen. My apologize for this because I had some six or seven hours difference you know so sometimes it was a problem and, uh, okay let's see if it's Sergey will come on the meantime I I want to say thank you everybody to be here and attend this Italian fifth batch you know I'm very very happy to have uh, all of you here and uh, let's see Right, I think he's back. He's back, Sergey. Do you see? Sergey? Can you speak into the microphone, please? <laughs> okay, just a minute of break for everyone. Ah, he's here, but. Sergey. No. We are not able to connect with Sergey. Is Ingrid still here? Okay, Ingrid? let's start to introduce uh, the attendant that I did not have a speech. So let's start from uh, you go in order me until he's coming so we can introduce everybody's here. Like uh, we give you a minute each to introduce themselves. Yep. Sure. So I'll just go through everyone. Yeah, let's go to everyone that have not speech. So in this okay. way we can meet each other. Also, Beautiful. we know who's here with us. Thank you. So, Indra? Ingrid? I can represent myself. Oh, yes. Ingrid? So we are represent our uh, diplomatic club from Russia. Very nice to meet you. My name is Ingrid Kim. I'm a journalist. We are organizing events before we start in this quarantine. So we work in offline job and now we are uh, looking for new opportunities in media also because we work in youtube um, i make interview with all people from different countries about pandemic uh, situation COVID. and uh, our uh, events will be postponed we are waiting to finish with quarantine and i will be glad any um, cooperation if because i organize even events in Italy, in italy so i will be happy to meet new italians uh, friends so welcome very, very yeah, very great country and we support your difficult time and I have friends there. I interview with also people from uh, migrants from Russia who stayed there. And uh, we are very glad to represent our diplomatic club for you to use in our platform. Uh, Mr. Sergei, so sorry for his, um, for his microphone, but he cannot off because maybe some technical problems, but he would like to talk, he would like to join. And okay, as soon as ready, we can yeah. give him the word. Okay. Alex, I'd like to pass to, thank you very much, Irina, 
to Amanda. Okay. okay, me, can you manage to have your list? Who's next? Hello. So we'll start with Indra Corona. If you can turn on your speaker, please, and just introduce yourself for one minute. One minute. Okay, Ni, thank you very much. I okay. suppose I have to speak about crisis center that Kaila want to announce today, but at least uh, I just want to say that I've been here for four time in this uh, conference and somebody knows me and somebody one others knows. My name is Indra Ketaren. I'm from uh, Indonesian Gastronomy Association, which is an organization doing on food and culture and, 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 and history of the Indonesian food. Uh, I cannot say much because uh, I don't know what to say, but I'm very happy to hear you today and the speaker is very good, especially for Panja. I have to talk with him later on because this tourism is very concerned to me. That's maybe all I can say to you. Uh, thank you very much, Nili, for the opportunity and maybe next time we can talk again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Indra. Okay, next up um, we have um, Imelda. Imelda? No, okay, um, I'll just go next. Um, we'll do John Way Mongiorno. Hi, um, my name is John Way Mongiorno. I'm not John Way, no cowboy. Indonesian, <laughs> born and raised in Indonesia. Uh, I am happy to be attendance uh, today. This is the first time for me. On bed six, Imelda uh, invited me to be one of the speakers. Uh, I am a uh, entrepreneur in uh, building material uh, businesses and uh, property development and other mixed portfolio, diversified portfolio of businesses. I do have a lot of passions uh, in into uh, philanthropy. Uh, I uh, I'm leading a uh, organization called I Hear Foundation. Yayasan Indonesia Mendengar. It's uh, basically gets towards uh, helping the community of hearing impact which I will share a lot later on, uh, on that six on this coming Thursday. Anyway, happy to be here. Learn a lot from all the panels. Uh, appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, John Wei. Uh, hi, I'm Imelda, sorry. Hi, Imelda, welcome. Thank hi, you, Imelda. sorry. Uh, my daughter was gonna have her ballet les lesson, so I have to attend to that first. <laughs> it's an online ballet lesson, so. I agree with uh, Vinit uh, today that what has been an offline base has now been an online base. And thank you, Mario and Neely for, for this badge. And thank you, John Wei, for attending this batch five. I will be hosting um, batch six. So, uh, Sergey, if you have the chance to join batch six, we still have an opening. So please do let me know. That's just what I want yes. to convey. If and also, oh, somebody you're can, here. Yeah, yes, I'm here, yes. Yeah. Just thank so, you. So, yeah, if, if you can join batch six, we can coordinate uh, with you. And I, I'm, I'm so grateful that today we learned that despite all this uh, pandemic is that we can learn to adjust, learn new opportunities and look at things in different ways and really just to keep learning and growing and just be resilient citizens of the world. So thank you. And see you on batch six. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Imelda. Grazie, thank Imelda. You. Grazie. Beautiful. So next we have Renz Ma Velasco. Hi, everyone. Hello. I, my, my name is Renz. Um, first, I'd like to thank uh, Thank, thank you everyone for the opportunity to, to listen to this. I was invited here by my good friend Vicky, who was one of the speakers a while ago. So uh, I'm from the Philippines. Uh, I'm part of an organization called Startup Village. So we are an, an, a startup enabler. So we are a company that helps uh, startup 
uh, we incubate them and accelerate them and enable uh, individual to bring their unique ideas and business concept to reality. So it was very good sharing a while ago. Uh, me, myself, I, I always uh, look at the crisis uh, and opportunity at the same time because uh, I learned that in, in Chinese character, when you write crisis, it write, it's written as Wei Qi. The first character, Wei, means danger, while the other character, Qi, means opportunity or chance. So it always comes hand in hand together. So again, thank you so much and uh, have a good day, everyone. Thanks. Thank, thank you, Renz. Grazie, Renz. Thank you very much. Um, and we've got Martin again. <laughs> Hello again, Martin. Met Ciao, you. Martin. Ciao. Hello. How are you? Uh, thank you so much uh, for having this conference. So happy to be here, everyone. Such a great pleasure to hear everyone's thoughts and feelings. Uh, I, I was honored to join the conference previously. And it's so cool. yeah. um, uh, I'm from Sweden. I live in Indonesia. Uh, I am an entrepreneur. I'm building a communication platform that works without internet. Uh, today, this is quite actual, quite relevant in, in uh, countries with uh, low connectivity. Indonesia or Philippines would be examples of that, uh, where people need communication, but it's not accessible to everyone. Uh, so we're today working with a, a information project, a, a chatbot to provide uh, uh, to reduce the massive spread of coronavirus in the rural areas, uh, which is quite exciting. Uh, also, if we can help the people without financial services get financial services with, before they have internet. So banking for the unbanked without the internet is quite exciting. I, I felt today's speakers very exciting to listen. I had a reflection being from Sweden. I, even if I don't live in Sweden at the moment, I monitor Sweden closely. And as you know, in Sweden, there is no lockdown. And uh, we're now seeing a slowdown. The numbers are a little bit early to celebrate, but we're now seeing a slowdown of the spread in Sweden. And the testing indicates that we have, at least the early testing indicates that we have about 50% of population have had coronavirus, which would be a very, very positive news because it means that uh, we don't all have to go through the horrible pains of Italy and other countries, that there could be a different route available in the future. Uh, and if this is possible, it's indeed very, very ho hopeful. Uh, I also share the strong view that the coronavirus is a time for, uh, for change. Never before do I see all my friends doing digital companies so happy and excited about things moving forward so quickly. So um, it's terrible, but it's also uh, an opportunity to step back and, and uh, uh, change society, I think, and I feel very positively about this. Thank you, Martin. Grazie, Martin. Grazie. Grazie. Okay, next we have a Jolly Joy. If you can just um, spend the next minute just introducing yourself. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much. Uh, for uh, the speakers who've shared very interesting and eye-opening uh, lessons today, and I really appreciate. But I'm also excited and, and I want to uh, appreciate me, uh, Dr. Ayla for inviting me to this platform. And I'm also excited about the launch of the healing or the psychological center, because we realize that people are going through traumatizing moments and the World Health Organization uh, uh, tells us that every 40 seconds, someone dies out of depression and suicide. So we realize after the, during this season of COVID-19 and even post, people will be really traumatized and they will need a lot of uh, creating a lot of awareness regarding depression and even how to go through loss and griefing and so much more. So I'm so excited about that. And yeah. Thanks again, everyone. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you, Thank Jolly. You. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, so next Thank up, you, Jolly. Thank you. Um, there's no name on there. It just says iPhone, but the beautiful lady in red. In red. <laughs> yeah, the beautiful lady in red. Yes. yes. Yeah. Hi. Hello. 
Hello? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Can you okay. speak up? Yeah. Sorry. So why my, my name is Asti. Asti. Asti Ananta. I'm from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm a president of InfiniCare Foundation. It's a really based on Infini company and it's health line industry. Thank you so much. This is my first ending and every speakers are really amazing and also I opener. I believe we can also get new um, point of view and different ideas how to adjust ourselves in this challenging situation. And Mrs. Imelda Francisca asking me to join the next batch, which is six batch on next Thursday. So I would love to join and thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, Senore Mario. Thank you, Miss Grazie. Grazie. So next up we've got Maya Hassan. Maya, can you, your microphone, your microphone. your microphone. Okay. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Very well. Hey, all right. Forte chiare, forte chiare. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Maya Hassan, and um, I started out more than 30 years ago as a professional harpist, and that led me to a new field, uh, if you can call it, um, uh, that is about healing and that brought me to um, the understanding of how to use frequency uh, to, how do you say, to um, change our cells and our body frequency and even our brain waves um, to safeguard ourselves and to induce uh, healing. Uh, so I've been, um, I got my certificate um, as a practitioner in 2013. And um, ever since I've been, other than still playing the harp and doing my shows, um, making people dance and uh, being happy, um, I'm also promoting how to, um, how to do self-healing. And I also have a clinic to uh, take in my clients. Grazie, Maya. Grazie. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, so next up, I can't read that. I think that's in Russian or <laughs> Mario? I think it's... Uh, it Russian? Wait, wait, wait. We talked with her before. I see here Arsenal. Yeah, up. maybe we'll go with Arsenal up. No, she's not here. Okay, um, Rupa? we'll go with Rupa. Rupa. Rupa, you need to start your microphone, please. You need to yeah. unmute. Uh, hello, uh, I do think I'm a speaker for the session. I think I was out for a bit and I just joined in. So is this like the introduction for the attendees? Yeah. Yeah, yes. just one minute, just introducing right. yourself. Hi, I'm Dr. Rupa Vatsudevan. It's great to be in this platform as always. I am the Chancellor of a private university in India. It's called the Bharti Engineering Science and Technology Innovation University. It's also the first innovation university in India. Uh, I also am the Global Chair of World Forum for Education which uh, primarily connects organizations, uh, education institutions, and uh, individual knowledge givers who, who are uh, imparting knowledge and skill sets to, uh, to people adding social and economic value for the country. So we don't treat education as uh, the formal uh, education, but education is any knowledge giver, any knowledge and skill sets that's useful 
for the society, community, and nations at large. I know Dr. Ayla Aljufri. She's a great friend, and uh, our World Forum for Education has been uh, working with WWLC uh, in the education sector. Uh, I congratulate the organizers. This was a wonderful. Uh, this is a wonderful event, and all the batches are doing remarkably well to up the motivation quotient during the crisis times. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Rupa. <laughs> the next one, I believe, is Natalia. Something else. The Russian one, Natalia. She's there. No, let's pass to Ingrid. Oh, Ingrid. Yep. Ingrid. Yes, yes. Only me. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, from Russia, only me. Ah, okay. I'm only this is Sergei. This is Sergei. Oh, yes. Sergei, thank you very much ah, for your Okay, thank Sergei. You. Great. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, yes. thank you so much. I I was so appreciated to be with you, uh, with my friends and colleagues. Uh, I am so happy uh, that uh, the main words about this uh, coronavirus infection, that uh, this is the time for changing, and this is a, uh, for time for new possibilities. Uh, as you everybody knows, this year, 75th anniversary of the United Nations. And we can see right now that all these global institutions like uh, United Nations and other, uh, they need uh, uh, the, uh, the transformation on next level next level of understanding of uh, development of the world civilization and uh, i'm completely believe uh, for the spiritual diplomacy because i'm president of international diplomatic club we do some culture type of culture diplomacy public diplomacy but now the time for the spiritual diplomacy we should uh, be more active to educate the modern society that uh, the model of uh, only economic development is a, a crisis model because uh, if we, we are uh, think that the future we can again exp uh, make some exploitation of the nature resource if we can do the same things like before it uh, will be completely catastrophe for all civilizations that's why i think that is a new time uh, to unite all of us all uh, our intention motivation and uh, we can be together in one team, spiritual team, to support civilization and come to next level of uh, social, spiritual, personal uh, development. Uh, that is my uh, faith. I believe to this idea. Uh, that's why I think that the role of the women activity, women leaders, will be more, uh, more attractive uh, in the uh, close future. And... Uh, uh, I think uh, we will see very soon uh, transformation of uh, political establishment in uh, different countries, even in America, even in uh, Europe, even in uh, Russia. Uh, I hope the new leaders, spiritual leaders will come and uh, they will give some idea uh, how we can change world, but not only from the technical things but from our hearts also. That is my uh, point of view, and I want to share my ideas with you. And uh, I completely believe that this crisis time is uh, that, uh, like a challenge for, us, for all of us, that we should change our, uh, we, we should change uh, our activity for more personal, uh, personal education, spiritual education, and spiritual transformation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so next we have Julas Julastina. Yes. Julastina, are you there? Beautiful. Hi, hi. Hello. Hi. Um, my name is Julastina. Oh, yeah. Can you introduce yourself in one minute? Can you hear? Me because because my connection is not uh, good and I'm hosting here. Uh, my name is Julastina. I'm a CEO of Ayla Associate and I also uh, managing managing director of Ujan uh, Investment uh, Desk. 
uh, our founder, um, Dr. Ayla, initiate this event. And our mission is actually we, we want to spread positiveness to the world. And in this kind of situation, we will continue our, our, our uh, activity and also we want to make a social, social impact contribution to the community. So instead of uh, in this situation, we just uh, sitting down doing nothing. Uh, we believe that we all are here. We can make a change, and it's going to be very uh, this in time situation. Uh, everybody needs to change. That's all. Thank you, everybody, for uh, Thank you. contributing here. Thank you, Yula. Thank you, Yula. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through the list. Um, Vivo, eighteen oh six. Vivo, are you there? No. No. Okay, maybe we'll go to Cecilia. Napa Dimitrio. No, she's not. Okay, I think um, we've Maybe gone the last the... one. I think uh, no, we're missing the main founder of this event. <laughs> yes, Dr. of Ayla. course, Dr. Ayla. Uh, do you want to have some uh, <laughs> words from her, please? Hello, Ayla. Ayla. Hi. <clears throat> uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ayla. I'm 16 years old. I don't want to know. <laughs> And I'm th I I feel delighted today, and thank you, Mario, my brother, and Nini, uh, to to make batch number five is a amazing batch, and uh, I would like to thank you all the speakers that come and attend uh, and speak, and also the attendance uh, for the time uh, that is given, and I also today would like to announce that uh, after batch number five. Uh, 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 the board uh, decided that we're gonna move to something bigger than this, which uh, we are starting six different uh, crisis center. Uh, some of the global uh, uh, presidents are here, but some is not. But I'm just gonna introduce one by one of the crisis center, and then uh, let them speak for one minute for the crisis center, and then. Uh, this crisis center, it's welcome for everybody to be uh, leading as well. It's like this conference. I, I pass it to many batch uh, to, to make everybody uh, have the same an opportunity to speak and also to lead a batch. So I will uh, start with the first uh, center, which is education center. It's led by Dr. Rupa uh, from India. Dr. Rupa, maybe you can explain a little bit. No? No? Okay, you turn off the microphone. Okay. okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the second one, the second crisis center will be led by another woman in Africa. Uh, Dr. Uh, Joy, can you explain about your center? And I think many people can join your center, can be your vice president and start as soon as possible. Uh, the, the badge of a psycho center from Kenya. Yes, maybe you can explain in one minute. Yes, and then everybody can uh, contact you. All right, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ayla. My name is Joy uh, from Kenya, and I'm so excited. And like I said earlier, we um, I'll, I'll be the, I'll be heading the psychological or the healing center. And what we want to do is to create awareness on issues regarding healing and especially mental health. awareness because right now people are going
Hello. Joy? Not her. Yeah, we can't hear her. Joy? Are you gone, Joy? Yes, yes we don't go one by one. <laughs> Hello. Joy? Okay. So um, we move to uh, the next uh, uh, president, Dr. Indra, yeah, for the uh, join culinary movement, yeah, and then it will start by Italy today and the organization of uh, World World Woman Leading Change today will actually donate for Italian people. We will transfer to your account, Mario, so you can use this money and it's a starting point also on the join culin culinary movement. Uh, and uh, another, uh, another, uh, another, uh, another uh, world woman leading change from Malaysia is also going to join me to support. Maybe Mr. Indra can explain a little bit about our global uh, culinary movement. Wait, wait, wait. I have, okay, thank you, Arja. Uh, again, good afternoon, everyone. As I already explained, WLC took a to create a crisis center named the World Alliance Against COVID. We have six covered areas, where one of them is about the culinary center. Inspiration and direction of the culinary centers are to establish a joint culinary movement in various countries from WLC members to help those low income food stock. As we knew, the coronavirus pandemic affected the food industry globally. When the government of various countries closed down food places to slow the spread of the virus. The implication of isolation has disrupted the food sales chains such as restaurants and bars, especially for the lower class eating places such as food stalls, sidewalks, street food, and so on. Through the culinary center, we will try to find a way out to how to help the food entrepreneurs from the lower classes of society, meaning how we can help their business machine running again. Its influence will directly lead as well as to the continuity of economic and economic creativity and tourism. That's my wish because the food business is related to tourism. And certainly this movement can be done from the home by using an online internet network. The form and method on of how the joint movement will be formulated later, but certainly it will become a joint movement movement. Through this opportunity, I invite my fellow WLC friend to play a role in the culinary center. If you are interested in joining and participating, please contact me or through Dr. Aida. Thank you. Thank you very much, Indra Corona. Really I appreciate. have number uh, crisis uh, center number five. This is very interesting because it's just like what Finit explained to us. It's the world after Corona. You know, we will have pitch deck of all the startup and all the technology uh, uh, that can uh, help or uh, 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 have an opportunity to rise during Corona time. Of course, uh, on this, I think the president is Dati Malinga, and then, uh, is she here or not? She's not here, but I think, I think Finit, you can definitely join uh, her, and then I see there is, uh, uh, there is uh, Mr. Reyes as well, uh, since you have a lot of startup, you can join, and you can probably uh, lead for uh, Philippines. And um, uh, number six is, this is even more interesting. It's called the health center, health technology center, where we are going to pitch uh, world uh, health uh, opportunities during the Corona time. So, you know, uh, if you know anybody, if you know your friend is doing something really interesting that could help the society or, or, or this uh, 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 bigger opportunity in business. So I welcome to join. Uh, and number six will be represented by uh, Helen Hurong, my partner, which is the founder of this uh, 
uh, global uh, forum that we normally have on April and just this April we cannot do it. That is why I initiate this global forum. It's actually, uh, she started 10 years ago. Uh, uh, our organization is called World Woman Leader International Network. So uh, thank you everyone. If anyone uh, want to have more explanation about this crisis center, uh, we, will, we will try to, to attend all batches. After this is Imelda batches, don't forget. Uh, on Thursday, yes, and then we have number seven on the 27, and then we have number eight from Kenya. Number eight, a lot of Mrs. Mrs. World will be there, so they're all going to talk. So every day, this uh, conference is getting more and more exciting, and I I'm always like uh, trying to squeeze all the uh, uh, what all the all the things that. Uh, I have uh, in in this time to be able to to meet everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ayla. Thank you, Ayla. <laughs> Grazie, Dr. Ayla. You always one step ahead and surprise us all the time with something new. And this is very you no. Know, maybe this make us feel stay more closer to you. Anyway. <laughs> I want to say thank you, first of all, to me for her attendance, because she was very great. She made uh, us feel all comfortable, I believe. And uh, thank you very much for everyone starting from the beginning to the end of the conference. I also want to say thank you to everybody that joined for a little while and then they have to go for different reasons. I was under pressure. Today, one picture of my hair was around on the, I was uh, guessing to show you one of my late oldest picture, but better don't. <laughs> and uh, I want to say thank you to everyone. I've been a tough mm -hmm. week to prepare this one, you know, especially with the jet lag. And, uh, but I really appreciate and enjoy the community that we create from different parts of the world, from Africa to Philippines to Doha, to you know, to South Africa, to Italy, and to people speak Italian and have kids here in Italy. So, thank you very much, everyone. And uh, I hope this can be something, the beginning of something very big. There is yes. everything there to make it grow and become something very, very interesting for the future. Again, thank you to Ayla for the support, also for this uh, idea of supporting economically for poor people for people have difficulties, and uh, grazie. Grazie a tutti for the time you dedicate to us. And uh, I'm very happy, grazie. Thank you, Marek. Thank you for hosting this beautiful everybody. batch. Thank you. Grazie. Thank you, Thank you everyone. You. Lovely if to anyone, meet you all. Also, if anyone come to Rome, I mean, with the COVID will be let us possible to travel. If Thank you, Mario. Come. Thank you. Thank you. Keep Sorry, my contact. Uh, come late. When, uh, yes, Mario. When I come to Rome, I'm seeing you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. Thank you, Mario. Grazie. Grazie. Arrivederci a tutti. Thank well. you, Mario. Bye. Arrivederci. I think uh, Thank you, Mario. it was good. <laughs>